Hello everyone, this is Karim Fahmi, I'm an Azure Solutions Architect. I'm back again after a long time no see because I was finishing my two exams, the AZ-102 for the Azure Administration and the AZ-302 for the Azure Solutions Architect Expert. Um, I don't want to talk about them because they were really tough, especially the 302 because it contains a labs and frankly speaking, I failed in it and I repeated again till I achieved it and it was really tough. Um, so let's uh, postpone this uh, conversation about it. So today we're going to talk about the Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. So this is a very, very, very important feature i mean this is very important um capability in azure that you can use in order to scale out or scale in and save your money if you have peak times uh, using your application like there is hits in something i'm talking about the infrastructure i'm not talking about the platform as a service okay so because platform as a service is a, a different story we are talking about the app services web apps and stuff like this no, I'm talking about infrastructure as a service with the, all the people, the data center, the security teams that are concerned to host their stuff on um, infrastructure as a service, not hosting it onto platform as a service. Each company has its own policies and own regulations, so we have to respect this. In order to achieve this, so let's talk about what is the Azure Virtual Machine scale sets. So imagine with me that you have here uh, uh, on Azure, so you have one virtual machine. And then this virtual machine is having application and have a lot of hits at the same time, and there is not enough CPU. So you have different things. So you can increase the size of the machine, okay? Or increase the instance. And it depends on the application. We're gonna talk about this if the application is stateless or stateful. So the Azure Virtual Machine skill set, let's talk about this, that it creates a multiple instance for the same instance that you have. So you have instance A1, then A2, A3, A4. So it creates a multiple instance with the same everything that it has been installed that has been installed on the first instance so it can serve the application. So before we talk about this as an infrastructure, we are not software developers, we are not developers, we don't have any idea about how the application works and we have to understand how the application works in order to use the Azure Virtual Machine skill sets. Software engineer guys and developers will understand what I'm gonna talk about, maybe the infrastructure, not so much unless the people who did migrations uh, they will understand. Application can be stateful or stateless. So what does it mean stateful? Stateful, in brief, it's like the application itself, the application server have session variables or have something that is related to the customer in the meantime. Okay, so if it's dealing with it, so it's being storing the status of whatever the login status or the cart that is buying through or whatever the item. So if this server is down and another server is up and um, and the company just redirected the request of the customer to this server, so he won't find anything and he will log in again and he will add his stuff to the cart and then go to the database in the back end and stuff like this. Okay, so what is stateless? Stateless means that the application server doesn't contain anything related to the meantime that is the user using now, um, like session variable or the card that is adding his items is being stored into the database at the end, not on the application server. So if we have this application server here and another application server and this application server is down and it failed over to another application server, server number two, for example, the customer will be redirected to the new server and he will find his items because it's not related to the server. It is being stored in the database. But take care, in, in this model, there will be a cost in the back end um, because there is a lot of um, traffic between the application server and the database. Depends on the whole situation that you are using. So now, if you are using the Azure Virtual Machine scale set with the stateful, it is it won't work because there is a lot of hits on the server and it's expand to another server and another server and another server. The stuff that is being used here is stored into the memory. So the memory is not copied to the new instance. Okay. 
if you are using stateless, stateless, so stateless will be very useful case with the virtual machine scale sets. If you are using batch processing, if you are if you are using stateless application, so it will be useful because the um, status of uh, the user login, for example, or the card that is adding or whatever the application depends on the server, uh, won't be stored in the memory, but it's gonna be stored into the database. So let's have a quick demo about the Azure virtual machine scale sets. So let's see uh, what we're gonna find here, how, how we can build a virtual machine scale set. So when you go to the all services and write scale, so virtual machine scale sets, say yes, and then it opens this. Uh, I already created one before in order to make it uh, very fast here in the demo. Uh, so because it takes time, so I will put add here. Here's the wizard that you create from it, the virtual machine scale sets. So you put the name of the virtual machine scale set, whatever you want, and they choose the image and go through the, um, for sure, uh, subscription, resource group, location, availability zone, user and password, and then the instance size. Okay. And then you can make it as low priority or not, or use the managed desks and there is a lot. So there is a lot of advanced settings. I'm not going into deep. I'm just showing you the wizard. Uh, and how you can get the virtual virtual machine skill sets being done. So here's the auto scale set that we need to use. So for example, if I enable it, it asks me minimum number of VMs. So I will say, okay, so it can start with one, the maximum to reach. So it's 10, so I can make it two, for example, three, four, five. Okay, I'll make it two, for example, and then the threshold. It says here that the CPU usage percentage for triggering the scale out scale. scale. It checked the CPU if it is, um, utilized more than 75%. Okay, it's, uh, it takes an action and here so it will increase the number of uh, VMs by one, the instances of the VMs by one or you can make it by two or three or four, whatever. And also CPU's threshold for scale in. So it means that uh, it is 25% um, or less. So you can uh, decrease the number of VMs by one, two, three, whatever. Okay. Then here there is um, some considerations you can see. And I'm going to share the consideration link from the Azure portal. And um, you can use the uh, Azure scale set uh, with two, um, two models. So you can use it here application gateway load balancer or none. So in my demo, I use none because I don't want to make a load balancer or application gateway. You put an application gateway in front of the scale set and this one have the IP or the load balancer have the public IP and then it connects to the internal uh, VMs. None means that uh, I can give each of the instances IP. It's not practical, but maybe your case need this. It depends on how you are designing your solution. I'm just giving you the features that Azure have. So just a quick reminder that what I'm doing in this series actually is I'm showing you the features of the Azure in order to use it in your architecture. So in order to be a good architect in Azure, you have to understand the features of Azure so you can use the tools. It's like that you have two cars, one very old car, uh, but you know everything in it and a very new car and you don't know anything. So and when you write both, you can have the same speed because you don't know the features of this new car. It's the same as the legacy systems and the new systems on Azure. So you have to understand the features in order to go fast and um, have uh, the most benefits from it. Okay, so uh, for sure there's um, virtual network. So you are doing your virtual network here. Configuring it, public IP address per instance off on, okay then create and after it's created so you get something like this so I press here and you will find I'm not starting it so when I start this so it will start my virtual machine and then I put here in the scaling okay metrics here so I put two rules so if you want to add a rule here so this is the scale out rule scale in rule so you say scale out when so I see metric time average, metric name is percentage CPU, okay. And I mentioned here 
that um, it's, if it is greater or equal to 50 and for sure the duration time uh, is 5 minutes in order to take ticker. These 5 minutes are not your 5 minutes but it is the Azure 5 minutes. So there is like um, a, a hidden scheduler here in Azure that like a frequency checking each every 5 minutes how is it and then it calculates the average and take an action or do not take an action okay so this don't like don't try like so in my demo here i have like um, a cpu uh, stress uh, um, action so i increase the cpu utilization on the virtual machine so once you start um, this action it doesn't mean you count five minutes, okay? It depends on the five minutes that the Azure is calculating, not your five minutes. Okay, so this is the scale uh, out rule, the same for the scale in. I, I make it if the average is of the CPU is less than 40%, so decrease by one. And I have the instances, one instance, and I have the maximum instance that can reach is two instances because I don't have enough quota here, <laughs> okay? Then, and the default is one instance. So the default is one. Okay. So now it is running. Let's see here. These are our instances. So I'm opening. So now the instance is running. So let's access the instance and see what is inside there. Okay. So this is my public IP address. Let me check here. And I'm gonna connect. Okay. So I downloaded something called CPU stress. It's from uh, this intro. Um, so it's it's for free on online. So you can find it. So here's uh, this is my server here. So what I'm gonna do here is, so this tool actually uh, simulates uh, the CPU stress. Actually, it uh, it makes so now, if we open here, task manager. Okay, and performance, and this is my CPU. Okay, so utilization now is eight percent. So I'll make it medium and threat priority highest so it will increase so in order to achieve more let's do more thread here and highest and busy activity here is busy so now it will reach you see so it's um, it will keep like this so um, it will take not five minutes it depends on the counter and the calculation of uh, the average that uh, the Azure is doing, but it takes five minutes. And I did try, so when I did this, it takes um, extra uh, 1.3, uh, 1 minute 30 seconds extra. So you can say about six, seven minutes in order to take the action, okay, uh, to be detected. And again, it depends on the counter and the frequency checker of the Azure. So let's go back to our Azure here. So now it's being like this, so we will keep it like this and we will keep uh, monitoring and we will see. So it should here appear another instance created automatically without touching anything, okay? Without touching anything. So here we are back. So I did refresh now and you can see it's creating the instance. So what is this? It should increase by one. Okay, so here is a feature in Azure, it's called over-provisioning and over-provisioning doesn't cost you anything. Uh, they say that it is um, an extra instance that it makes it uh, more faster in order to um, enable the extra instance for you. And after uh, it's being created, it will, it will be deleted. I don't know what is behind this to create two and then delete. Maybe uh, they are creating so the one that it will be created faster, it will uh, assign it for the scale set and the other will be deleted. As you see here, 
So after creating, you're gonna find one of them and one, one will appear and the other one will disappear. So it doesn't cost you anything. It's kind of a process in Microsoft. So now after I did a refresh, the updating has finished and now two instances. So when we go instances, okay, so it left the uh, for uh, this instance and refresh. So it's running and would be running after this. So it deleted the extra one. So this is the process of um, creating um, the Azure uh, virtual machine skill set. So let's um, wrap this up. So uh, this was a quick demo about the virtual machine skill set. And if so, if we remove the uh, stress from the uh, server and it calms down below the 40 percent, it will delete an instance. There is a lot of consideration and stuff like this about um, the virtual machine skill set. We have to read about it and I will share the link down here and I will write about it in my blog this week. And um, I hope you enjoyed the demo. Thank you for watching. Have a nice week and I hope you enjoyed the video. Wait for more. Keep positive. Stay tuned. Goodbye.